Hello Aries, welcome to your March 2023 reading. This reading may apply to you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the sign of Aries. Now for to this month's reading, I'm actually using just one tarot deck and this is a beautiful gift from my daughter who is currently in law school and uh, she lives in a different city. So she got this tarot um, set for me. It's called Cats Rule the Earth Tarot. It's a beautiful, beautiful tarot deck. So I'm just using one, one deck this month. Now, Venus and Jupiter will be in your sign for the month of March 2023 and it'll station there for a while. Venus is the, the planet of luxury, pleasure, love and abundance. Jupiter, on the other hand, is the planet of luck, expansion, victory, success, right? So when these two planets are in your house, in the house of Aries, magic happens in your love life in your career what i would like to know is how is march playing out for you for my collective so stay tuned perhaps oof look at that queen of cups three of swords three of cups okay so i've already gotten three cards my intention is to take about eight so three of swords Three of Cups. Don't be afraid of the Three of Swords. It's good news. Trust me, it's good news. Okay, what was I saying? I'm saying just sit back and relax. Tune into the energy of the reading. And let me pull some cards for you. Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could be thinking about a water sign or a water sign could be thinking about you right now. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is heartbroken with the three of swords or you could be heartbroken over them this could go either way i mean tarot energy is fluid with the three of cups this person could be in your friend's circle or somebody who you have been romantically entangled with for for a handful of you there could be some third party interference it doesn't always have to be another person romantically linked but this individual this queen of cups a water sign is heavily heavily thinking about you okay let's get some more cards I knew it as, as soon as I kind of started the reading I knew with Venus entering into your sign love life will be the focus of your reading for March 2023 and look at this my darling my cards never lie you have the king of cups so both of you look at this first row there's three of swords three of cups so there's a lot of third party interference both of you could be in another connection or one of you could be in another connection there could be friends and family who's interfering there could be some work related issues that's interfering with with this connection but both of you your person is the queen of cups you're the king of cups both of you are thinking heavily about each other and i think march given that jupiter is kind of stationing with Venus in your sign, I think there will be some conversation that will clarify and perhaps provide you with some insight into the confusion of what's going on. King of Cups, it's a heavily Scorpio energy. You could potentially have Scorpio in your chart. Now, the other card that came out with the King of Cups, and I'm just gonna put this underneath the King of Cups, is the Two of Swords, right? That's a lot of thinking. That's a lot of air energy. You could have friends or family with heavy air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius giving you advice. I'm telling you, there's a lot of interference between the two of you, you and your person. And I think both of you will find new perspective and will have a conversation if there is communication breakdown in March because I think you will find out that some of the misunderstandings that you folks are having are essentially driven by other people, other people who either don't have the best interest in their heart for your connection or simply don't understand the severity and the intensity of your connection. All right, let's keep going. But from your end though, with the Two of Swords, sitting tightly underneath the King of Cups, mm, you're feeling indecisive. You're really in your thoughts a lot, right? You're a fire sign, you're not really known to be overthinking but you're almost overthinking this you could potentially have some air placement in your top three maybe you're rising okay all right aries let's keep going 
I want to take a few more cards. All right. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Wow. When I was doing pre-shuffle, before I started the reading, the Two of Wands did come out. So with the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, both of you feel left out in the cold. And I think that is partly because it's not that either one of you have abandoned the other person. I honestly think there are so many people involved in this connection that are giving their two cents worth and confusing both of you to the point that you're thinking your person has abandoned you and vice versa. So with the two twos, here's the thing. I hope you can see it. The five of pentacles is bookended by two of swords and two of wands. And interestingly, the two of swords did come out during the pre-shuffle. So this is how you feel. Five of pentacles, three of swords. Both of you are feeling heartbroken, abandoned, feel like that, you know, the other person will not come forward. There may not be any chance or any opportunity of reconciliation between the two of you. So both of you are in your head right now without any communication. For a lot of you, there is a breakdown of communication. And you're thinking that your person is probably going to choose someone else or perhaps will walk away from this connection altogether. Now, from your end, you really don't know what to do. I have two twos on the board, so you really don't know what to do. Let's see what your person is thinking. My goodness, it's too many cards, but I'm going to take it. Judgment, <laughs> Tower, another two, two of pentacles, Hanged Man, and eight of pentacles. The Hanged Man card did come out during the pre-shuffle. All right, that's a lot of cards, but let me organize myself. With the judgment card, there is a restart. And I said that as soon as this card fell on the board. I said, even though there's a lot of people in your connection, meddling in your connection, the two of you will have an opportunity in March to talk to each other, to clarify, to kind of provide explanation to everything that has gone on. So there is a restart. And I think with the judgment card, Spirit is saying, to you at least, because your person is not listening to my reading, to use your judgment and your discernment. Judgment to me also is a intuition card. Now, I have the Hanged Man. Hanged Man is a Pisces card. Hanged Man is all about intuition, looking at things from a different perspective. And I think one of the things Spirit would like you to do is to see this situation from a different perspective. And try to figure out what's the ulterior motive of all the people who are readily available to give you advice on this connection. Are they really coming from a place of honesty and integrity? Or are they doing this because they have something to gain? Right? So there is a tower moment at hand. This is very Plutonic energy. And Pluto is going to enter the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is all about truth. Truth is going to reveal. I said that. If people were giving you bad advice or giving bad advice to your person. Truth is about to reveal and it will happen extremely suddenly. And that's, for me, Tower is divine intervention though. Every time, it doesn't have to be my reading, whenever you're listening to a Tower reading and this card appears, please understand that the divine is stepping in to intervene. And when the divine steps in with the Tower card, then truth will come out in a way that even you couldn't have scripted. Now, you have the Two of Pentacles and you have the Eight of Pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles, if this is happening, let's say this is not a romantic situation, this is happening at work, then you were framed by people. You were wrongfully accused of things by people. And I feel like there is either a air sign or a Pisces who's been doing all this behind the scenes. Again, divine is stepping in to reveal the truth and that truth will happen suddenly. Two of pentacles, you are balancing a lot. You're balancing a lot, you're emotionally taking a lot. Now, at the bottom of the deck, are you ready for this, Aries? You have the four of wands, you have the nine of swords, you have the ace of wands, and you have the ace of swords. My goodness, listen to me. And you have the six of cups. So very quickly, because I'm running out of time, and I try to make these readings around 10 to 12 minutes. So with two aces, and I already told you with the tower card, the truth is coming out. Ace of swords is 
Archangel Michael's sort of truth. The truth is coming out. There is a beginning, a fresh new beginning that will reveal the truth. So whether the truth of a loving connection or the truth of a workplace situation that you're handling, you are feeling anxious. And I know that because the King of Cups was clarified by the Two of Swords. You're feeling anxious. You feel like that nobody will understand your side of the story. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. You will be vindicated. You will be vindicated, my friend. So with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands, this situation, right? Somebody from your past is coming back. And I think that's your person. If this is a work-related situation, maybe a former boss or a supervisor will step in and will clear your name. What I'm saying is with the Four of Wands, Four of Wands is all about balance stability if you felt unbalanced and if you felt like you are going through a rocky situation something from your past will come back and vindicate you for the person that you are full of truth honesty and integrity and it will balance your situation because divine is stepping in with the tower card revealing the truth about this connection about this situation so overall what am i seeing for the month of march Mar month of March is all about vindication. I said Venus and Jupiter will be residing in your sign. So if you have been wronged, if you have been wrongfully accused, if you have been a victim of people meddling in your affairs, then all of that, all of those wrongs will be settled. And there are people from your past who are coming back to vouch for you. Your person will see through all the negative energies around them and all the people that have played a negative role in this connection, in this storyline. Month of March is all about vindication. With Jupiter strongly sitting in your sign, there is no way, there is absolutely no way that you will still be a victim going forward. Victory is absolutely assured. And I want you to stay in that vibrational field. Believe in the fact that everything that happened to you happened for a reason. And you're about to be vindicated by the divine itself. So my darling, claim this reading. Leave me a comment in the comment box. Let me know how it resonated. If, you're, if this is your first time in my channel, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell icon so that you receive these prophetic, prophetic readings in a timely fashion. Until next time, my love, I'm wishing you tremendous luck and success and love. I don't have to. Venus and Jupiter is in your sign for March. Until next time, take care. Bye now.